All right, so that's my keyway right there. I just gotta slide it in, and then I, the holes are actually straight through the pressure washer. So, and I don't have those. So we're gonna see how hard this is. Now it's rear facing. We also appear to be missing a spark plug. So I'm guessing we're going to end up doing a run to town. Luckily, I live in town. All right. I found my nuts and bolts. They're metric, so I'll be using these guys. I have no idea if this uses metric or not. But to give you an idea of what I got going on here, is there's the pump and it just slides on. That's a bit long. That seems awfully excessive. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure it's the only thing I got. We'll try it out. Uh, there's one. A bit long in the tooth, I'd say. Hopefully this one is still long enough. Because it's going to be coming right out of here. And we're short. Alright. Time back to the bulb bin. All right, so we got a spark plug, got an air filter, and I picked up what I think are some longer bolts. So let's check it out. Those are way too long. Ah, that's the ticket. Now, if you're wondering why I don't have the hardware, it's because it was already in pieces when I got here. Ah, very good. Mm, yeah, that's a much better improvement. See these tabs right here? They gotta go in the bottom. There we go. Let's do this spark plug because I'm worried that it's not going to fit. They are right, it does. I get that tightened up, I get all these bolts tightened up, and then we'll be able to try it out. All right, everything's all tightened down. Spark plug's tightened down. I went ahead and tightened down my, my three bolts right here. They're all tight. I'll check them again because this thing will, grow, it will vibrate pretty bad. Uh, I triple checked my oil. I just filled it up with fuel. All right. And I think I'm all set. I'm going to roll it outside. I'm going to hook up the garden hose to it. Yeah, here's the under view. Uh, there's those two, two screws right there. And that one bolt right there. And then, of course, it's a rear mounted. So... I'll hook up my garden hose and then my pressure washer right there. And anybody that's kind of wondering, this is the part number for the air filter. And it's pretty much the only square one that Lowe's has. And then I had to cross reference my uh, spark plug. And I got this guy right here. I have no idea that's too good. And then as far as the long bolt that I had to use, it was an M8 dash 1.25 by 90 and I used uh, these other ones that I tried using a second ago those were hundreds so that was way too long but uh, and then I think like the shorter ones were like 60s or 70s I'm not sure the instructions said 
that every time you use this guy, you gotta screw on this garden hose, you turn the garden hose on, well yeah, let me take this back a second. You hook up both hoses, garden hose, high pressure hose, hook up your wand, and then you go ahead and um, turn on your water, and um, hold the wand open until all the air comes out. So that's, uh, I'm pretty sure these guys aren't made, designed to, uh, to run dry. So I'm pretty sure that's why the last one locked up because I think he turned it on and then he went to go turn on his water and by then his pump froze up. So we're gonna see if this motor even runs because I have no idea. to run until all the air has come out of it. I'm pretty sure all the air is out. All right, let's see if it starts. I got my vat of degreaser here. I'm gonna spray the engine down and then we're, uh, we're gonna see how it goes. I also got all these other tips and I can't really remember what they're used for. So we'll find out. Much better. There's the original paint, kind of. I can tell by the runs that it's been repainted. I can also tell because there's a little bit of overspray right there. But yeah, not too bad. Didn't help that I was washing it right over the mud. runs I uh, I was worried there for a minute I had some oil leaking you can see a few more droplets right there but, uh, I stopped it right the head bolts I had no idea what the did to it but uh, yeah it seems like it's uh, running just fine I wonder if I just turned it off, so that's not really good. I get, I'll let it sit for a little bit and then check the oil again. See, I'm, make sure I'm not leaking oil anywhere else. All right. Well, let's go turn it off. It is still February after all. Ah. If you're wondering why I didn't wash the side of the car, the hood, or any of that stuff, because that's the patina, because I am too cheap to paint. So, that's just the way it's going to be. As you can see, I kind of missed a few spots. I was waving the wand around, getting this channel cleaned here, but it'll be fine. It is a lead sled after all. So, all right, well, that's it. I'm going to break it all down. Thanks for watching.